Everyone's familiar with using fluorescein stains, which is a very good stain to use to detect the presence of corneal ulcers. It also helps with the deck how deep the corneal ulcers are, but one should also get familiar with using the rose bangle stains. It's a very nice stain. It picks up very finite lesions, lesions that are not picked up um, many times with the fluorescein staining, and we can actually pick up areas of um, the cornea that have problems associated with dry eye conditions, early herpetic lesions, as well as some early fungal diseases. We can pick up some tear film abnormalities that's shown by rose bengal staining and not by fluorescein staining. The horse here on the left, you can see, has got a fluorescein positive staining. We have some nice blood vessels coming in. It's a fairly diffuse ulcer at this time, but not very deep, based on the corneal staining and the foot lamp evaluation. And this was a horse on the right side over here that's stained with rose bengal stain. It stains kind of a magenta color. And this was a horse that was hit in the eye with some pebbles that it was training at the racetrack. And this may have not have been a fluorescein positive eye, but you can very easily pick up the, floor, the rose bengal staining in this eye. So it's a very nice tool to use in addition to your fluorescein staining and equine corneal diseases. The cornea histologically has four layers, but we also count the precorneal tear film as the fifth layer because it's very important in the overall health of the cornea. 